artificial intelligence that could read our minds, you can imagine a case in which we could be immortal. But that would completely change humanity and what it means to be human. Merging the human brain with a computer would truly change our species forever. Researchers are developing technology that can transfer data between computers and our brains, and even read people's minds. For now, we have the power to detect brain waves and... Yes, welcome back. Now, this is 2023. Brain implants start up back by Jeff Bezos and Bigid is testing mind control computing on humans this is something they have been singing like a song now they are testing on humans i have the full video on this clip we are going to take an exclusive look into what is going on exactly recently a question surfaced to benny sanders about big gate backing up that they should tax robots Benny Sanders seems to be happy with these. Just take a look at these. But I don't want to see the people on top simply be the only beneficiaries of this revolution in technology. So you agree with Bill Gates and taxing robots? That's one way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's a billionaire you do like. He's, <laughs> I've talked to Bill on a number of occasions, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but, well, I'm interested in that concept and, and some of the other things you lay out here. But I have to ask you, you're going on tour to promote this book, It's Okay to Be Angry About Capitalism. And you're here talking about it. I understand we're not the bad guys you're, you're describing in the book when it comes to the media. But tickets for your tour, apparently, are selling for $95 no. on Ticketmaster, which is con accused of anti-competitive behavior. You know that. Some of your Democrats are criticizing them. Aren't you benefiting yourself no, from this system I, that you're all, trying to dismantle? First of all, those decisions are made totally by the publisher and the bookseller. I think there's one case where in one place here in Washington, po uh, politics and pros and independent books are charging some tickets. Most of them, I think, are $40. Yes, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, why not share this clip? According to this article, Blend Implant Startup, backed by Bezo. And gay is testing my control computing on humans. You know, this is something they have been talking about for a very long time, but in 2023, they have decided to go into full force. In a Brooklyn lab store with 3D printers and a massive big ball called employees at a brain interface startup called Synchron are working on technology design to transform daily life for people with paralysis. The Synchron switch is implanted through the blood vessels to allow people with no or very limited physical mobility to operate technology such as cursors and smart home devices using their mind. So far, the nascent technology has been used on three patients in the US and four in Australia. I have seen moments between patients and partners or patients and spouse where it is incredibly joyful and empowering to have regained an ability to be a little bit more independent than before. That would completely change humanity and what it means to be human. Merging the human brain with a computer would truly change our species forever. Researchers are developing technology that can transfer data between computers and our brains, and even read people's minds. For now, we have the power to detect brain waves and track electrical pulses within the neurons in our brains, and researchers are using this information, however vague, to aid the differently abled and make life easier for everyone. Among these researchers is 16-year-old Alex Pinkerton. Really, all that we're working on is a brain-computer interface uh, that utilizes graphene, and hopefully, if our math is correct, it'll be sensitive enough to read the magnetic fields of human thought. It was in the 1970s that the Department of Defense first started funding brain-computer interface research. That market is expected to reach a value of $1.72 billion by 2022. 
big players like Elon Musk and Facebook have teased their entrance into the market while other companies are showing their work in action. Like Control Labs, who created a wristband that measures electrical pulses from the brain to the neurons in a person's arm, allowing them to control a computer. New and exciting research is pouring out of universities like MIT and the University of California. If you remember, in 2022, Klaus Schwab made it clear that in 10 years to come, you will have these chips implanted in our brains. And in 2023, this is already happening. In August 2020, the Food and Drug Administration granted Synchron the breakthrough device designation, which is for medical devices that have the potential to provide improved treatment for debilitating or life threatening conditions. The following year, Synchron became the first company to receive to receive an investigational device exemption from the FDA to conduct trials of a permanent implantable BCI in human patients. Synchron is enrolling patients in an early feasible trial which will aim to show that the technology is safe to put in humans. Six patients will be implanted with a Synchron BCI during the study and chief commercial officers called said the company is currently about is currently about halfway through. So in 2023, they are already are pushing to complete this process, Klaus Schott thought it could be finished in 10 years to come. Uh, medical and biological progress and advancing very fast. But can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? Um. Yes, and this company is already approaching to end this process. So very soon, you will have this implanted in your brain. Mm -hmm and the University of California in San Francisco. So what is a brain-computer interface? It's a way in which a computer can take information directly from the brain without you having to type or speak it in uh, and translate that into some kind of action. That's what Pinkerton is working on, a connection between the brain and a device, like your phone or a prosthesis. He was first inspired by his dad, who works on clean energy. My dad came in to talk to our class when I was in third grade about graphene, just to give a little presentation. I'm not sure why, but that sort of sparked my interest. And I had just been thinking of like, why isn't this being used everywhere if it's like the perfect material? And so I started thinking of applications. And at first it was mainly like for the military or something. Now it's sort of focused away from that into, uh, well, the brain computer interface and like VR, maybe super immersive VR, uh, obviously could help the disabled. Pinkerton is the co-founder and CEO of Brain Interface. For the past few years, he has been spending his holiday breaks and the occasional weekend in his dad's lab working on his graphene brain computer interface i was just at my dad's office after school and uh we used a program called mathcad just to type in a bunch of numbers uh to fit the characteristics of graphene for a brain interface synchron ceo tom oxley told cnbc in an interview it helps it helps them engage in ways that we take for granted Founded in 2012, Synchron is part of the Bargrin Brain Computing Interface or BCI industry. A BCI is a system that displays brain signals and translates them into commands for external technology. Perhaps the best known name in the space is Neuralink thanks to the high profile 